Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. I have even more martial art films to review for you, and this one is titled 7 Steps of Kung Fu from the year 1979. Oh yeah, another oldie right here folks. Of course, I do have this name on my list of martial arts films to review, and yeah, I've been reviewing quite a few of these for the past few days, and since I've been reviewing some of these movies have been either mediocre or bad, my expectations were rather low. But still, I do have to talk about the plot of this film, so let's just dive right in, shall we? Surprisingly, the main character is a male character who must do what's right, and he is, of course, the hero. And we get to see that there's this white-haired general who has turned traitor and pretty much assembled the five-hand gang to help him carry out his evil deeds. He intends to take over the town and sends his gang to the town of him. Little does he know that his sworn enemy is already in town and currently training this young person named Tiger in the seven steps of Kung Fu. Again, of course, the hero of the story is, like I said, is a, is a strong male character. Oh yeah, like we haven't seen that like a billion times already. But anyway, I have a main character, Tiger. He pretty much comes across one of the medals that was that was worn by the Five Hand Gang. And when the master sees it, he knows exactly who they are and who their boss is. Of course, this means trouble. Tiger begins to spy on them to gather more information about them, and they find out that he is doing so, master and student go on into this adventure kind of thing, into training. And of course, this has to happen in order to defeat the villain of the story. That's pretty much the basic premise of the plot, and I thought this film was just mediocre, folks. I mean, it was not terrible, really. I mean, it's not that great, it was not good. I mean, it's not exactly a bad movie, per se. I mean, yeah, there's a few things that, that I did like about this film, and this the premise of the plot isn't exactly terrible. I didn't think the concept of the movie was bad, really. I actually thought this had a really good premise. I just felt maybe it could have been done better, I guess. But again, just like with the other films I've been reviewing, folks, I'm reviewing the American English dubbed version of the film. And yeah, of course, the dubbing is horrendous, folks. The dubbing is really, really bad. It's not particularly good, really. So yeah, I guess the probably the worst part uh, aspect of this film is the dubbing itself. Some of the fight scenes are pretty cool. I can tell you that some of the fight scenes are really nicely done. I'll tell you that. In this film, when I saw the first fight with one of the gang, it's probably one of my favorite fight scenes of the film. And I really like the stick fighting. And this is pretty much a top notch when it comes to fight scenes. The main character, Tigger, if I'm pronouncing his name right, yeah, the, he does use weapons, of course, and the way this film is choreographed is pretty good, I guess. And, yeah, I kind of wish that the story had more meat to it, I guess you can say. But, I guess there's, there's enough there to make the main character likable, I guess. And the villain in here isn't too bad, I suppose. But, yeah, of course, they made the villain character to be an asshole. Yeah, the villain character is a total asshole. That's one way to make uh, make any villain be dislikable. Well, make him be a dickhead. That's one way you can do that. Just make the villain character of any movie be a total dickhead and he'd be a pretty cool like that, I guess you can say. So yeah, folks, do I recommend this? Um, I, I guess if you have nothing else to do, folks. If you have absolutely nothing else to do on during the weekend, yeah, what the hell. I guess just check it out, I guess. Again, it's not a bad movie, but it's not that great either. I've seen this film with the Amazing Maddie. So, Amazing Maddie, if you're watching this review, thank you for the, very much for watching this film with me as well. I highly appreciate the fact that you did. So, that's pretty cool, folks. I don't necessarily hate this movie, really, because, again, I didn't think it was all that bad, really. But, I guess in some ways, it just came off standard. It's very, very standard, I guess you're going to say. Uh, I guess it's aware of the fact that it's, that's pretty typical, folks. Yeah, they, I guess you can say that's very typical of uh, storyline that he has. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. What they could have done is 
to add their own twist on a cliche and come up with something more original. That's one thing they can do. Of course, there was the whole idea of having the main character be a tough guy. And the fact that that town itself is in danger. And also, the villain of the story is Wrathless. There's that, and the town's in danger. And our hero must do what's right and protect the town. The lead character has a code of honor, of course. I must do and rescue whomever is innocent. So yeah, again, the storyline isn't necessarily bad. It's just, well, typical. Very, very typical, I guess you can say. I'm almost done reviewing these martial arts films, folks, for my martial arts movie marathon. I'm not going to stop reviewing martial arts films altogether. I'm just going to review maybe a few, uh, just a couple of more maybe. Yeah, I will review a, a couple more, just give it a rest, and then we'll continue to review more martial arts films later on in the future. I don't know when I'll continue to review more of these films after reviewing just a couple more, but just keep in mind folks, I'm not giving up on this genre because like I said multiple times, I like watching martial arts films. Honestly folks, I really do enjoy watching these kinds of movies. I really, really do. I will watch more and more in the future. And I will continue to review more of these in the future. Just after reviewing maybe a couple more, then I will just take a small break for a good little while, then continue more. Of course, I will continue to watch more of these types of movies. Because, besides the horror genre, it's one of my favorites because, well, Halloween never ends for me. And I do like watching martial arts, and martial arts is definitely one of my favorite genres. At the end of the day, I did feel that this had potential to be much better than what it was. If I were the director of a martial arts film, maybe it could do something based on Rumble Roses and have a female lead. Wrestling is a different form of fighting, so... And you can mix that up with some martial arts. Have a woman as the main character, that's definitely at least is really rare in the martial arts genre or I guess you can say just the uh, action genre in general I guess you can say. I mean you could make it a bit sexual but only do it if it fits the character's personality and it fits the overall story. Don't just throw it in there just for the sake of exploiting a certain sexuality of, of the female character. And yeah I was taking a stab at the Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween. What a piece of shit that was. Not every female character has to be a slut, you know. Well, anyway, some of the acting was a bit over the top, I guess you can say. But generally speaking, everybody does an okay job, especially from the main character and the villain character. Those actors who play those roles, they did a solid job in this. Well, everybody else does, well, okay. Yeah, in some ways the acting was a lackluster kind of thing going on but overall the acting in this film from the actresses and actors they all do a solid job I guess you can say not Oscar worthy but decent. The dialogue is pretty cheesy in this film folks but again I'm judging the dialogue from the American English dubbed version of the film which was unfortunately funny unintentionally so yeah the dubbing is pretty awful like you might expect from these films but anyway, folks, this film, Seven Steps of Kung Fu, gets an overall rating of a 5.5 out of 10. It gets a 5.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, folks, and take care. See ya. Oh, yeah.